The Orient is a historical term for the East, traditionally comprising anything that belongs to the Eastern world, in relation to Europe. In English, it is largely a metonym for, and coterminous with, the continent of Asia, loosely classified into the Near East, Middle East, and Far East. The directional regions now known today as Western Asia, Southern Asia, Eastern Asia, and Southeast Asia note that traditionally directional regions of a continent do not use an uppercase letter. Originally, the term Orient was used to designate the Near East, and later its meaning evolved and expanded, designating also the Middle East or the Far East. The term Oriental is often used to describe objects from the Orient. However, given its Eurocentric connotations and shifting, inaccurate definition through the ages, it is generally considered offensive as a label for people from Asia. Topic derivation The term Orient derives from the Latin word Oriens meaning East lit. Rising rise. The use of the word for rising to refer to the east where the sun rises has analogues from many languages. Compare the terms Levant rising, Vostok Russian, Vostok sunrise, Anatolia Mizrahi in Hebrew Zriha meaning sunrise, Shark Arabic, Shriku rise, Sharik Arabic, Shruk rising, Shigis Kazakh, Sigis come out, Turkish Dogu the land of the rising sun to refer to Japan. Also, many ancient temples, including pagan temples and the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, were built with their main entrances facing the east. This tradition was carried on in Christian churches. To situate them in such a manner was to orient them in the proper direction. When something was facing the correct direction, it was said to be in the proper orientation. Another explanation of the term stems from Rome during the Roman Empire, specifically the Eastern Roman Empire, or the Roman Orient during the Byzantine Empire. Although the original east-west or Orient-Occident line was the Italian peninsula's east coast, around 600 AD this would shift to the city of Rome. Any area below the city of Rome was considered the Orient, as well as the ethnicities inhabiting the land, such as Dalmatian Italians, modern Neapolitans along with Sicilians, Libyans, Moroccans, Greeks, etc., as well as everything east of southern Italy, hence the Italian name Italia Nord Oriental in English Northeast Italy for La Tre Venise the three Venices located above the Roman latitude line separating it from modern Abruzzo, the beginning of the Orient in the east, while Lazio is its beginning in the west of the Italian peninsula. The opposite term Occident derives from the Latin word occidens, meaning West lit, setting Western world. History of the term Territorialization of the Roman term Orient occurred during the reign of Emperor Diocletian 284-305, when the Diocese of the Orient Latin, Diocesis Orientis was formed. Later in the 4th century, the Praetorian Prefecture of the Orient Latin, Praefectura Praetorio Orientis was also formed, including most of the Eastern Roman Empire. From the Thrace eastwards, its easternmost part was the original Diocese of the Orient, corresponding roughly to the region of Syria. Over time, the common understanding of the Orient has continually shifted eastwards, as European people travelled farther into Asia. It finally reached the Pacific Ocean, in what Westerners came to call the Far East. These shifts in time and identification sometimes confuse the scope historical and geographic of Oriental studies. Yet there remain contexts where the Orient and Oriental have kept their older meanings e.g. Oriental spices typically are from the regions extending from the Middle East to subcontinental India to Indochina. Travelers may again take the Orient Express train from Paris to its terminus in the European part of Istanbul, a route established in the early 20th century. In European historiography, the meaning of the Orient changed in scope several times. Originally, the term referred to Egypt, the Levant, and adjoining areas, as far west as Morocco. During the 1800s, India, and to a lesser extent China, began to displace the Levant as the primary subject of Orientalist research. By the mid-20th century, Western scholars generally considered the Orient as just East Asia, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Central Asia. As recently as the early 20th century, the term Orient often continued to be used in ways that included North Africa. Today, the term primarily evokes images of China, Korea, Japan, Vietnam, Mongolia, and peninsular Southeast Asia. Throughout the history of the changing sense of the term, the Orient was never equivalent to Asia as a whole. The Orient 
being largely a cultural term, large parts of Asia Siberia most notably were excluded from the scholarly notion of the Orient. Equally valid terms for the Orient still exist in the English language in such collocations as Oriental studies, now Asian studies in some countries. The adjectival term Oriental has been used by the West to mean cultures, peoples, countries, Asian rugs, and goods from the Orient. Oriental means generally Eastern. It is a traditional designation, especially when capitalized for anything belonging to the Orient or East for Asia, and especially of its Eastern culture. It indicated the eastern direction in historical astronomy, often abbreviated Ori. In contemporary American English, Oriental usually refers to things from the parts of East Asia traditionally occupied by East Asians and most Central Asians and Southeast Asians racially categorized as Mongoloid. This excludes Jews, Indians, Arabs, and most other South or West Asian peoples. Because of historical discrimination against Chinese, Korean and Japanese, in some parts of the United States, some people consider the term derogatory. For example, Washington state prohibits the word Oriental in legislation and government documents, preferring the word Asian. Instead, in more local uses, Oriental is also used for eastern parts of countries, for example Morocco's Oriental region. Oriental is also used as an adjective akin to Eastern, especially in the Spanish speaking world. For example, the Philippine islands of Mindoro and Negros are each divided into two provinces whose titles include the words Oriental and Occidental, respectively. The official name of Uruguay is the Republica Oriental del Uruguay or Oriental Republic of Uruguay because it is east of the Uruguay River. Since the 19th century, Orientalist has been the traditional term for a scholar of Oriental studies, however, the use in English of Orientalism to describe academic Oriental studies is rare. The Oxford English Dictionary cites only one such usage, by Lord Byron in 1812. Orientalism is more widely used to refer to the works of the many 19th century artists who specialized in Oriental subjects, often drawing on their travels to North Africa and Western Asia. Artists as well as scholars were already described as Orientalists in the 19th century. In 1978, Palestinian American scholar Edward Said published his influential and controversial book, Orientalism. He used the term to describe a pervasive Western tradition, both academic and artistic, a prejudiced outsider interpretations of the Arab and Muslim worlds, shaped by the attitudes of European imperialism in the 18th and 19th centuries. Topic. Current usage Topic. British and Irish English In British English, the term Oriental is sometimes used to refer to people from East and Southeast Asia such as those from China, Japan, Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Mongolia and Laos. Asian in Great Britain and Ireland generally refers to people that come from South Asia in particular Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Maldives since British Asians make up approximately 6.9% of the population within the United Kingdom. Orientals refers exclusively to people of East and Southeast Asian origin, who comprise 0.7% of the UK population as a whole, and 5.3% of the non-European population. Of these, the majority are of Chinese descent. Orient is also a word for the luster of a fine pearl. Hong Kong, a former British colony, has been called Pearl of the Orient. Topic: <laughs> American English. Distinct within American culture, some American English speakers consider the term Oriental to be a pejorative and disparaging term when used to describe a person. John Kuo Wei T. Chen, director of the Asian, Pacific, American Studies Program and Institute at New York University, said the basic criticism of the term developed in the U.S. in the 1970s. T. Chen has said, With the USA anti-war movement in the 60s and early 70s, many Asian Americans identified the term Oriental with a Western process of racializing Asians as forever opposite others. 
In a 2009 American press release related to legislation aimed at removing the term Oriental from official documents of the state of New York, Governor David Patterson said, "The word Oriental does not describe ethnic origin, background, or even race. In fact, it has deep and demeaning historical roots." In 2016, President Barack Obama signed legislation striking the word from federal law. Topic: <inaudible> Australian English. In Australian English, the term Asian generally refers to people of East Asian or Southeast Asian descent, such as those of Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese, Thai, or Filipino descent. Persons of Pakistani, Sri Lankan, and most other South Asian descent are referred to by their respective demonym, but without explicit knowledge, those people are indeterminately inferred as Indian. Topic: <laughs> German. In German, Orient is usually used synonymously with the area between the Near East and India, including Israel, the Arab world, and Greater Persia. The term Asiatan English, Asians, means the people of East Asia and Southeast Asia. Another word for Orient in German is Morgenland now mainly poetic, which literally translates as «morning land». The antonym «abendland» rarely «occident» is also mainly poetic, and refers to «Western» Europe. See also Levant Land of the morning calm Land of the rising sun Orient Express Orientalism Orientalizing period of archaic Greek art Political correctness School of Oriental and African Studies SOAS, University of London Western world the Occident, the opposite of Orient Asia-Pacific Topic Notes Topic Further reading Ankle, Guy, Coexisting Contemporary Civilizations, Arabo Muslim, Bharati, Chinese, and Western, INUPRESS, Geneva, two thousand. ISBN two eight eight one five five O four five Topic. External links The American Oriental Society The Oriental Institute at University of Chicago On Asian and Oriental Model Minority Posting by Alan Hu The Critic in the Orient by George Hamlin Fitch German Orient Gate What's the Matter with Saying the Orient? by Christopher Hill for About Japan, a Teacher's Resource <laughs>